hello everyone and welcome to this technical video where i am going to cover the creation of kubernetes cluster in google cloud so today i'll be diving into some exciting topics and exploring the latest trends in this field so whether you are a seasoned expert or just starting out i am thrilled to have you here with me so without any further delay let's get started so for the creation of Kubernetes cluster in Google Cloud, the first and foremost thing is that you have to log in to this cloud, Google Cloud. The URL is this Google cloud.google.com. And here you have to come and for learning purpose, you can create a free trial account. Since I have already created that, it's not showing me here. Otherwise, in place of go to console button, you will be able to see create a free trial account. So uh, you should just click on that and create a free trial account for you. And once you have created uh, that free trial account, uh, like meanwhile in the process, it will ask you to uh, give your card details. So you can just give it that, uh, but it anything will not uh, be get deducted. Only a uh, two rupees amount will get deducted to check your account thing. And else uh, you will be provided with $300 in free credits. And whatever services you will use in this Google Cloud, you will be charged with this free account credits only and it will be applicable up to 90 days from the day where when you have purchased this free trial account okay so once you have created uh, created this you have to uh, click on this go to console button okay and this is the project name and this is the project id so you if you want you can create a new one i'll proceed with this only because i have created this recently only so this is my first project and this three bars you can click and here you can see so many services which it provides and it is a very nice cloud platform and so much user friendly. So we will go with the Kubernetes engine and here we will go with the cluster. First and foremost thing is that we have to create a cluster. So here I have clicked on that and this cluster page has opened and you have you can see this create deploy and refresh so i am going to uh, since we want to create i am going to click on this create so it provides us with two options autopilot and standard mode here you can compare those uh, the autopilot mode is recommended for the production purposes whatever we use for the production of our application and but uh, for the learning purpose i'll suggest to go with the standard the reason being in autopilot it provides us auto uh, scalability and it do, uh, does the changes automatically as per need so you will not be able to see and learn with this so i'll suggest you to go with the standard and i am going to click on configure okay so this page will get opened and here we have to give our uh, things whatever we want so firstly the cluster name so cluster one is already created for me so cluster two Manshi, I am going to create this thing and location type you can select whatever thing you want I will uh, suggest you to select the zonal and go with the US central one so this is the place which provides you, the, you to the connectivity of the zone for this cluster and this is control plane version and here I will also suggest to go with the default ones release channel and version I will suggest to keep it as it is and then next default pool is there which gives you the node pool details so here the default pool you can change the name but i'll go with this thing only and number of nodes which it is providing we can change uh, like increase or reduce according to as per our need so i'll go with the three only and more options you can just explore okay and this is very simple search upgrade or something like uh, this is the upgradation so this i'll not go i'll keep default things so this is the image type so image is whatever uh, docker image we want to deploy or whatever in the container we want to keep the image i'll explain about this image docker in my further videos but for now i am keeping it as default and it is the machine configuration so general purpose compute optimized memory optimized the charge for this which we can see on the right side which will get uh, increased or decreased as per whatever we are need so i'll go with the general purpose this is the series that is generation one generation two generation three whatever series we want to have our machine to be and this is the machine type 
so it is uh, like memory quotas what it is going to give so we can reduce this like uh, 2 gb memory 1 gb as per our requirement of the application so i am going with the 4 gb only if you want we can reduce it uh, or we can go with the 2 gb memory let me select the 2 gb and boot this type for cpu platform and gpu i am uh, keeping it same so can you see the price has reduced so we i am going to keep it as it is and in the networking also it is providing us the node networking purpose so these all things i am going to keep it as it is this is the node security and it is a metadata so for my side uh, from my side i have given all the required things and i will simply click on create and it is it has started creating my cluster so it might take uh, two to three minutes for creating the cluster it uh, can you see it has redirected to this place and it is in the creation of this so this is being created and it is loading for us and if you want to check the progress if you are like keen to see that you can just simply click on this and here this is a percentage of this it is uh, telling you it uh, it can take uh, five to minutes or more and here you can see the percentage and what uh, part of this is being performed like it has already conf uh, configured and 36 percent is completed now it is deploying this and finally it will do the health checks so we can simply come over here and whatever things like during the configuration has been provided it is already showing up here and once the final deployment and health check is completed it will show us the final creation so i think 58 percent is created okay so finally once it is 100% completed you will be seeing like the cluster has created and a green sign icon for this and here you can see so many things related to this cluster whatever uh, credentials and whatever metadata it is having so you will be able to see and you will be able to see the external endpoints it has already created right so whatever basics like name location type whatever we have selected the default zonal nodes release channel and endpoints basically total size for this automation networking things whatever is required we will be able to see and the nodes information we will be able to see over here okay so storage is like this it is having so many options observability logs details and we can go to the clusters here as well like whatever clusters we have we can see check so this is the cluster 2 and number of nodes is 3 and we have selected 2 uh, memories for each node so 3 into 2 will be the 6 GB memory it will provide overall so this is all about the creation of the cluster and in later point of time I will be covering the basics of what is pods and replica sets over here and connecting to the uh, like uh, shell with this uh, Kubernetes cluster and whatever operations we can do with the docker images and all. So these all things we can cover in the later videos and till the time you can guys can explore create and play around with all the things over here okay thanks and i'll appreciate your feedbacks and whatever doubts you are having in the comment section please let me know whatever is required from my end